quiet this morning? Sorry, I was just thinking. What about? Um, well, I was thinking that maybe I'd like to do the dinner tonight. What, are you going to cook me then? I don't know, something special. What's the occasion? We don't need one, do we? I just thought you could do the treat. I suppose not. And I'll tell you what, why don't you ask Marlon and Donna as well and I'll do the lot. I'll do, like, the starters and the puddings and everything. Sounds nice. Shall I get anything in? No. No, I don't. And uh, I'm doing the cooking tonight. You just put your feet up and relax for once. What have I done to deserve this? Everything. <laughs> anyway, see you later, you. You can get to work. Oh! See what I mean? Marlon! Sorry, I can't stop. I'm busy. Busy turning the kitchen into a disaster zone. I've lost my icing pipes. So, last time I looked, birthday cake wasn't on the menu. Ethan has asked me to bake for his cake stall. Oh, has he now? Well, you know me, when it comes to cooking, it's 100% or it's nothing. Well, in which case, it'll probably be nothing. <laughs> Presentation is just as important as tasting these things, you know, sometimes more so. I wouldn't worry too much. Why not? Because it's a competition. And I don't suppose the women will take too kindly to your poaching on their territory. Hang on a minute, Diane. What's that I sniff? Is sexism rearing its ugly head? Men excluded purely on the grounds of gender? Not something I have a problem with. It's good for the gander, it's good for the goose, that's what I say. And I say, get back in the bar, this bottle's need shifting. Yes, boss. Don't let the monstrous regiment get to you, brother. I'm with you all the way. Is this what you're looking for? Oh, I could kiss you. Won't be necessary. But there is something you can do for me. Oh, yes? You see, you're not the only one Ethan's been talking to about this cake competition. Mm, do tell. <sighs> can you get a move on? I've got a facial booked in half an hour. I see, thank you. About time. I hope you've got cash for that facial. I beg your pardon? You must be over the limit. So unless you've got cash, you're going to have to stay with the same face you got. I hope the wind doesn't change. Keep your wine. Last one. That's a bit mean. Well, she comes in here like she owns a place. She's a good customer. Good customers pay their bills, Emily. Credit card's been paid. That's your problem now, not mine. We had an agreement. Had. Past tense. If you want money to pay off your cards, sign the severance agreement. You think you're really clever, don't you? Compared to some I know. You'll be laughing on the other side of your face when your solicitor gets my settlement demand this afternoon. Well, at least I've only got the one face. Don't worry. You'll get everything you deserve. Oh, I intend to. Um, do you want to take this domestic inside? Half the village can hear you. I said everything I need to say. You can shut your face and all. You haven't won that bet yet. And let's face it, you're never going to. You want a bit of advice? You better give me that grand now while you can still afford to. <laughs> Looks like her ticket for the gravy train has just run out. I don't think you should be discussing Mrs King's private business. Nonsense! People have got a right to know, haven't they? Why? Was it all her credit cards, then? Well, she didn't offer up another one, so that must have been her last. Oh, poor woman. Poor nothing. She still drives around in that swanky car that costs more than most of us earn. Don't suppose you've got any vanilla pods? I've only got the bottled version. Not good enough, apparently. My cake recipe insists on the real thing. Oh, are you entering the competition, then? Not me. Ethan very kindly put the idea into a certain little person's head. Uh -huh. Oh, is Victoria having a go? I think all young girls should learn how to bake. Maybe. Unfortunately, I never did. Wouldn't be so bad, but she's expecting to win. And I know we'll get the blame if she doesn't. Well, just tell her not to be too disappointed. I am entering myself, of course. And me? Well, I don't like to be the bearer of bad news, but I wouldn't get your hopes up too high, either of you. Why not? Because Marlon's entering, and I don't fancy any of our chances against him. Hey, that's not right. He's a professional. Exactly. Well... Well, we'll see about that. Oh, it's only a bit of fun. Hey, they've taken that a bit seriously. So, a bottle of vanilla? Aye, go on. And give us a packet of cake mix while you're at it. Now, get yourself one as well. Oh, cheers, thanks. I still reckon you stand more chance with him than her. Early days. Come on, pay up now. Save yourself the embarrassment. Well, I could listen to you when it comes to dealing with women. You're the expert now, are you? Well, I'm not the one with a failed marriage. That's 
Obviously, Jimmy's mood hasn't improved any. Well, what's wrong with him? Sit down, lad. Oh, did you not hear about him and Sadie arguing outside the post office this morning? No. Hammer and tongue. That's not something to smile about, is it? About the divorce, was it? It's him I feel sorry for. I don't which one had back in a fight between them, bare knuckle or otherwise. Well, Jimmy could take Sadie. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll see, won't we? <laughs> Mom. So what? Those buggy eyes, they're following me all over the room. What are you talking about? That's rabbit. It's not natural. That rabbit has a name, Donna. What if it escapes again? It won't. It's never going to happen again. Well, how can you tell? It could be the Houdini of rabbits, for all you know. Because I do know. It was a one-off. It will never happen again. It can't. Do you say so? And don't take it out on her. If you were meant to get that job with the Kings, you would have done. Put it behind you. You've got a great future here with, with me and Emily. Right. Like I said, all of this will be yours one day. Not exactly what I had in mind for my life. What did you have in mind for your life? Well, I don't know. But there's got to be something better than this, hasn't there? She's upset. Well, some people just don't appreciate what they got. This is no concern of yours. Tell the vicar we demand to see him. And we're not leaving till we do. Well, it's all the commotion. We want to see you about the cake baking competition. Ah, well, that's Ethan's department, really, and I'd hate to step on his toes. Could you go and get him, please, Stephanie? Certainly, vicar. Are you or are you not in charge of this fate? In overall capacity, yes. Um, I take it something's wrong with the arrangements. Oh, something is terribly wrong. Very wrong. It's just supposed to be a bit of fun. Fun? You really have no idea, do you, vicar? Ethan, uh, the ladies have some concerns over the baking competition. Right, well, why don't we go in and discuss it over a cup of tea? Uh, there's no need for discussion. All cups of tea, there is just one point. This competition should be open to amateurs only. That means no professionals. Specifically, not Marlon. Right, well, I've already asked him. Well, if he is allowed to enter, then everybody else will boycott the event. Is that what you really want? No, of course not. <laughs> well then, Vicar. It's entirely Ethan's department. I suppose it's only fair. Right. We'll leave you to tell him then. Come along, Pearl. are on the up then? I think so. He want me to work this morning and he's going to cook a special dinner tonight. How romantic. Not a guilty conscience, I hope. I think he realises he's been neglecting me. Well, he's a very busy professional, isn't he? Should never be too busy for love, though. Isn't that right, Viv? I wouldn't know. Ah! Donna! I've got the cage! She'd better not have hurt my Buffy. It's a rabbit. I won't ask. So tonight, is it a dinner for two? Marlon and Donna are coming. He wants it to be a proper dinner party. Well, it's a start. I'm going to the vets, mind the shop. change. Oh, it's OK. I like a man who doesn't mind getting his hands dirty. What can I do for you? Well, I've uh, got a job for you. Needs your special touch. Look, Sadie, we agreed that... <laughs> it's my car. It needs a service. It keeps cutting out on me. I'd noticed. Yeah. Don't usually take it to a specialist. No, I'm confident you can do the job or I wouldn't have asked you. OK, then. And I'm sure you're not going to charge me anything like what a specialist would, are you? Well, I don't know until I've looked at it. Yeah, but you'll do me a deal, won't you? I mean, we are friends. What do they call it? Mates rates? I don't want Mrs King. We'll sort you out. Thank you. That's my pleasure. Good. Well, I'll um, pick it up this afternoon. Well, I'm very busy today. Well, you would have to get a move on then, won't you? Is he in? 
Can I help you? Hey, Paddy. Look, try and calm down. What's happened? Your coffee. You've been hurt. Viv, come in, bring her through. Libby, do you want to take your lunch now? I can manage. Oh, uh, no, I would, but I just want to fish. Do you think you could do anything? So a lot. Be gentle. Huh? You can't make a decent cake without proper tins. It's a miracle I need. I've never cooked a decent cake in my life. OK, that would be baked. And there's nothing to it. Not for you, maybe. The only thing I can bake is a potato. Look, why don't you just pull out of the competition, then, if you don't want to do it? Because I can't let Victoria down. No pressure there, then. Not a lot. I mean, I know I'm never going to be super mum, but I could at least do this for her. Diane, <laughs> sorry. Do you mind if I have a quick word with Marlon? Be my guest. Listen, I don't want to hold you up or anything. Well, no, 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 it's all right. I wanted to talk to you about this competition anyway. You see, <sighs> cuisine, Ethan, it's not just about implementation, it's about inspiration. Yeah, I'm just going to stop you there. What's up? I don't know how to say this, but there's been a bit of a groundswell of opinion. About what? About your cakes. What about? Well, they're not wanted. Well, I haven't cooked any yet. Well, I'd imagine you'd bake them, but regardless, don't. The ladies were quite vocal about the issue. Why, why, why not? Well, you're a professional chef, right? Yeah? Yeah, well, then, you know, you'd be bound to win. <laughs> well. Oh, come on, Marlon. Who else in this village would uh, stand a chance against you? Look, I'm sorry, it's my fault. I shouldn't have uh, asked you in the first no, place. No, 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 it's all right, if I won. If. <laughs> I don't think I could look Victoria Sugden in the face again. Well, Ashley thought that you could do a demonstration on the day instead. A demonstration? Yeah, you know, uh, tasters, uh, appetizers, desserts, you know, that sort of thing. Yeah, yeah, I could do that. Great. Buffy's gonna be all right, isn't she? Yeah, she was just stunned, really. It was a shock of it all. She'll come round again right? as rain. Hey. Now, come on. We talked about this. Don't panic. I was just saying thank you. You know what she means to me. <laughs> yeah, well, I've got a good idea. Look, we're both adults. We're both capable of restraint. Yeah. Yeah. See? See, this is gonna work. Um, is Paddy in? Oh, he's with a client. All right, well, uh, just tell him I called. Oh, actually, um, I'm sure he wouldn't mind if you just stuck your head around the door. He's only in with Mrs Windsor.
stop. What's wrong? We have to stop. And you know what's wrong? This, all of this. But your mouth's saying one thing and your lips another. No, but you said yourself, I've got to try and make it work with Emily. I, I, I know, I know. And you don't want to see her being hurt, do you? Well, no, of course then not. Then help me then. Yes. I'm really sorry. No. No, this is for the best. Have you not found that contract yet? Well, if Tamsin's got a filing system, it's beyond me. And she's obviously not turning in today. Yeah, we're better off without her. Anyway, Katie's coming in tomorrow now. You think she'd need the money? This is it. I, uh, I hear that Jimmy and Sadie have been having words. Yeah, well, I suppose it's understandable. Uh, divorces are always messy things. Tell me about it. Mm. How's he coping? Well, I suppose he's doing all right. I could dig out the name of a good divorce lawyer if he wants. I don't know who he's got. No, he's going to need a top man. And I'd hate to see him completely ruined by all of this. It's not your fault, Dad. No, I know. But he is still my son. A, a large pipe place, quick as you can. Are you all right? Um, not really. Oh, thanks, Ashley. <laughs> Small vice, but I think we've earned it. Look, you shouldn't let them get to you. There's anything I can do. Do you mean that? Of course. Well, maybe you can. I need someone to judge the baking competition. No way. <laughs> it's a poison chalice, isn't it? No one's going to want to do it. Maybe you should just pass it on to higher authority. What do you mean? Well, the bishop's very partial to judging things, isn't he? That's really, really wicked. <laughs> <laughs> no less than he deserves, cheers. I knew there was a reason why I loved you. <laughs> what do you think, Ethan? Far be it for me to argue, yeah? <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry I'm late. The dog and bone hasn't stopped. I didn't realise, you know, being such hard work organising a fate. Tell me about it. Now, what do you think about a hair and makeup store? Well, I could do makeovers, you know, demonstrate the products before I flog them. That's a great idea. <laughs> well, I've got hundreds of them, just hundreds of them. Excellent. <laughs> Gin and tonic. Miss <laughs> Ashley, Cheers, Louise. Oh. oh. Don't worry, I'll get it. <laughs> oh, oh, that looks nasty. That's oh, nothing. No, it's not nothing. You're bleeding. Um, come out the back and I'll sort you out. This is becoming a bit of a habit. I'll be fine. No, no, come on. I'll look after you. Can I have a word? Sorry, I'm busy. Paddy. Marlon, can you mind the bar for a minute, please? I just need to have a quick Marlon, one. Marlon, please. How's the rabbit? How do you think? Mum, it was an accident. There's no such thing as an accident, no matter how much you deny it. Things happen because you want them to. But I only dropped the cage. And look what harm it does to people. Are you all right, Mrs Windsor? Everything's going to be fine now, Emily. He's been talking to Dad about you. And? He thinks he can help you find the name of a good lawyer. Big of it. Look, he's just making a bit of an effort. Maybe you can do the same. If you've just come in here to lecture me... I've come in here for a pint. Good. Look, I wish things could be back the way they were. But they aren't. I made a mistake. But I'm not going to go crawling back. You're both as bad as each other. He just wants to help. You could do with finding some middle ground. Is that too tight? It's fine. Good. Maybe you should go to the hospital. Maybe I would, if they had nurses like you on the National Health. <laughs> well, what they do have are proper trained nurses. That could need a stitch. Do you think I'll be able to play the piano again? I didn't know you could play. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> well, just as long as you don't sue the pub. Ah, well, you'll have to get the landlady to be nice to me then. Mm. I didn't know Diane was your type. 
Come on, I'll buy you a pint, we'll call it quits. It's all done. Good. Anything major? No, it's just your spark plugs. Right. And I replaced your filters and changed your engine oil for you. Wonderful. What do I owe you? Well, I haven't worked it out yet. So right, I've just been sorting it now. It's uh, £119.97. What, for some spark plugs and an oil change? Well, it's, it's parts and, uh, and labour. It's, it's all itemised. Oh. I mean, we and Robert rushed the food this morning, didn't we? Okay. Who do I make this payable to? Uh, well, if it's uh, all the same with you, I'd rather you pay cash. Why? Well, after what happened in my mum's shop this morning, it saves embarrassment all round, doesn't it? I don't have the cash, so you're going to have to wait. Unless you want to come to some other arrangement. Just leave it out, Scott. It's a joke. You'll get your money. Nowhere. I have to go. There's an emergency at Home Farm. What sort of emergency? An urgent one. You're not leaving here until you've told me exactly what's going on. Nothing's going on. What, sticking your tongue down the windows throws nothing, is it? Keep your voice down. No, what were you playing at? Have you completely lost your mind? Now, now, what you saw wasn't exactly what you I saw. I saw my best mate about to ruin his life, about to ruin Emily's life. Wasn't like that. What was it like then, Paddy? Well, she was just really grateful for me treating a rabbit. Any more grateful? I needed a bucket of water. Bucket of water for what? Um, it's at work. Matthew King, he, he cut his finger and there was blood. Lots of blood. I'm not very good with blood. Don't be a vet then. True <laughs> history. Mrs. Windsor told me you said Buffy. Brought her back from the dead, apparently. No, I didn't do anything. I know I told her to make an effort with her, but I didn't expect miracles. Well, Buffy was stunned, really. Either way, you made Mrs Windsor very happy. When Mrs Windsor's happy, my life is so much easier. Well, that's good then, isn't it? What time's Donna coming over for dinner? Oh, they can't come now. Why not? Um... Because Marlon has to go out. Yeah, so something's come up. It's uh, an emergency. What sort of an emergency? An urgent one. So... Better go. <clears throat> yeah, I'll, uh, I'll see you later. See you. See ya. That's a share, isn't it? It'd be nice, though. Just the two of us. 